Yo guys, Fitch here, welcome back to another vlog here on the channel and today it is the start of Vlogmas. Well actually, it's still the 30th of November as I'm recording this clip, but tomorrow will be the start of December, which means it will be the start of Advent and the start of Vlogmas. So that is what is going to be happening again. I'm going to be doing Vlogmas again this year. Again, I don't know if there will be anything particularly exciting going on in this you know vlog this period but i'm pretty sure there'll be a few things here and there that will do which i will obviously vlog and once again obviously i'll be filming the day before and then posting it the day after just like i've done last year and the year before i think can't remember what i did in 2021 um but obviously 2020 i did it on the same day and got out on the same day but i did that on the main channel but again that's just we're doing vlogmas again this year. So what have I been doing this evening? Well, I have finished up on my KRL race that I had today at Silverstone as the new McLaren team principal. And honestly, I am a little bit mad. I'm not gonna lie. I came P4 on track, but with penalties above me, I got P2 but it could have been a win because what happened is I got tapped around twice and I got sent back to the grid and I tried to work my way up and it was a little bit annoying, but I managed to get P2 at least, which I guess is not too bad. And it's only pre-season, so nothing really lost there. But that is all three pre-season races that I've had in KRL had wins taken away from me. The first one was kind of my fault. I exceeded the track too many times in the hope to try and, you know, get past them when in reality, I probably should have just stayed behind them. The second time I got tapped around and then the third time, this time I got tapped right again twice but obviously if you've seen that you know what I, you know you, you, you saw what happened and what am I going to be doing for the remaining of my day remaining remaining for the remaining of my day is I don't know maybe edit a highlights reel maybe do some stuff on discord as well with uh KRL maybe see if I can get some more signings uh do some other stuff as well I don't know really just chill out really and uh yeah get ready for tomorrow so obviously this does start tomorrow so I'll probably stop recording and um get on to tomorrow but before before we do that, I want to say that I am filming this on my phone as well, so I do apologise if the quality and sound is a little bit off than what it usually is, but I think it's honestly better quality than my GoPro, so I'm going to use my phone this year, and uh, yeah, hopefully you like it. So yeah, I'm going to shut up now and record tomorrow where we start the actual Vlogmas, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, it is the morning of the 1st of December, so I don't even know what time it is, I think it's like half nine, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of bed, go downstairs and show you my uh, advent calendar so instead of advent calendar i should tell you the advent calendars i got we actually have some presents there that uh, we might open today i'm not too sure lauren has got hers over there and i might uh, show you what she's got as well but start off on my side i have a thornton's advent calendar which was actually from my uh, from my gran so that is good it also has my name down there as well we also have pip mcjingles i guess is returned to give us a letter every day of what she's been doing at the north pole so to start off what i have i have a cadbury white chocolate advent calendar because i absolutely love cadbury and um exactly i got myself one so i've got a cadbury white chocolate advent calendar and we've also got some more in the bag as well so let me get them out and show you so it turns out that isn't one advent calendar that's actually three so let's take a look at them so the first one is obviously a cadbury white chocolate advent calendar the next one is a milky bar white chocolate advent calendar and the last one is a cadbury dairy milk milk chocolate advent calendar i just like milk chocolate so i got both of them so this is the first one I have in my bag, which is a Terry's Chocolate Orange Advent Calendar. I had no idea they did these. And honestly, I wish I was recording when I took this out because I literally went, ooh, when I took it out. So that is a cool one. So let's do a first reveal of the next one that I've got. And I have got a Mawam Advent Calendar. And I didn't know they did these until I was looking. So they've got things like the Mawam Blocks ones. They've also got the Mawam Pimbles and the Mawam Stripes. And as you can see, it is actually 30. 31 doors it's not actually 24 or 25 this is actually 31 so this actually goes all the way until new year's day which or new year's eve sorry so that is absolutely perfect and this is a really big one look at the size of that so let's go ahead and reveal the next one and we have a Elf on the Shelf advent calendar this time. So as you can see, there's a few pictures of the Elf on the Shelves there. And again, there is, I guess, 24 chocolates as well to count down to the big day. And the next one is going back to the Thornton's advent calendar, which was on the floor like it always was. And they are all of the advent calendars that I have for the countdown to Christmas in 2023. Mm -hmm. So do you want to show everyone what you've got for uh, Christmas 2023? Sure. So I got the same as Lucas, 
Paris chocolate orange. Oh, there's an activity on the back. Oh. <laughs> Percy Pig. I think Which, that one was a pretty much given. Like. <laughs> I have had the Percy Pig one before, but this year it's Percy flavor chocolates, not just like milk chocolates. Percy flavor chocolate. I got the Colin the Caterpillar, which is milk chocolate and not white chocolate. So essentially this is better for me than Lucas because Lucas prefers white chocolate and I like mm -hmm. milk chocolate. And then I have, so <laughs> we have now this, is, I can tell this is going to be your favorite one, Lucas. No, it the isn't. The Barbie advent calendar. I have the elf on the shelf one, same as Lucas. And I have Kevin the carrot. <laughs> Mine are all characters. <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of my personality. <laughs> oh, and um, I also have um, a Thornton's one from my granny. It has my name on it, and I have a present there. I don't know what's in the present. Oh, what's in the joint present? But um, yeah, we also have Pitman Jingles, who comes every single year. It's our version of Elf on the Shelf. So this is what we got in our advent calendars. Now, this isn't all of them. The three over there that I got myself, they haven't been in for long. So we're just, we, you know, we're gonna wait to open those. So this is what we've got. So in the Mawan one, I think it's no surprise, but I got a Mawan Pimples one, as you can see there. And from Pip McJingles, we got a uh, an animals thing, which we will have uh, a bit later. So in the three chocolate ones, I think this one was from the Elf in the Shelf, which was a Christmas pudding, as you can see there. And there was actually a picture of the Christmas pudding on the door itself. In the Thornton's one, we had an elf, as you can see there. And then in the, I think this, wait, which one was the Thornton? I think the, th no, the elf in the shelf one was a candy cane and the Christmas pudding was from the Terry chocolate orange. That's what it was, I remembered now. And they are what I've got for day one of, uh, of Advent. So we actually decided to open our presents now. So these are what we got. So the first one is a elf memory master card game. I don't actually know what it's like. I think it's probably like, a, well, I think you basically mix and match all of the different um, things. Apparently it says five minutes to learn. So it might be different. So there's 48 games cards four score cards and one set of rules so i guess we'll might be playing that later on in the christmas period in the next one we have a elf snowball showdown game which i believe it might be something like uno i'm not too sure but um you basically play snowball cards for as like your turn i guess so once again we might go ahead and play that and the final one is a the elf game um so it's north pole to manhattan and i think what you have to do is well, basically, it says there, get Buddy, or can you get Buddy to Manhattan first? So I think it's probably like a game of life. I'm not too sure, but we're going to go ahead and play that. And in our personalized ones, they're both the same thing, but we got an ornament and Lauren likes this because it was pink. But as you can see, it says, or it's a letterbox and it says Santa on the side, as you can see there. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm trying to get this in focus as much as I can. And it's actually quite in focus and it's all made out of palladium, I think, like a glass palladium, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, that is, a, that is a fantastic ornament, honestly. I don't know how, you know, sculptures do this and make things of this, but honestly, it's fantastic. And that's what we got in our personalized presents and uh, what we've got in the group presents as well. So we are going to play a Christmas game now. And the Christmas game we are going to play is Elves Behaving Badly, Deluxe Jumbo Elf Cards Game. And the game is Snap. It's very classic. Me and Lauren deal cards. And when there's a matching pair of the color and character, we put Snap, put our hand down, on the deck and whoever wins it will get the cards and the aim is to get all of the cards i do believe i will double check the rules but i'm pretty sure that is how classic snap works so we finished the game and we decided to end it in a tie lauren won the actual snap version and then we laid out the cards and uh, i won that one and now i've had to change how i changed my videos because i was putting my phone on my selfie stick and um, it wasn't holding on anymore it's like this keeps snapping down so i'm resorting to handheld hopefully i can probably get this fixed but i don't know but anyway lauren oh the the advent candles that Lauren showed you on the only ones that she actually got. There are actually a few more, so I will uh, let her tell you the ones that she has got as well, and then I don't know what we'll do, um, to, you know, after that. Here in Bloxburg, we like to order pizza, then go eat a burger, put ABC to roleplay. <laughs> Go watch my recent video on my channel. Anyway, I want to say, because Lucas didn't actually say that, I have bought all of these myself because um, I like what's inside them. It isn't just like chocolate that you eat. Do you see what I mean? I mean, I do buy them as well, but they're like more special, so I have 
all them myself. So the first one that we have is we have the Disney Twisted Tales Advent Calendar. And each day you get like a book or a, a little mini miniature book. Look, there's like some books there. Um, and oh, I found number one. And you get to read a little twi Disney Twisted Tale. And I love the Disney Twisted Tales. I love the Let It Go one. And it's about what happens if Elsa and Anna never knew each other. Lucas might like that. <laughs> And then the next one, we have a Build-A-Bear one. I had a Build-A-Bear one last year and I loved doing it. And this one is actually to do with the movie that's coming out, like the Build-A-Bear movie. And inside you get, ooh, I didn't see that. You get like six bears. Please can I have that? <laughs> and then you get like all the accessories for it. So you basically get a bear and then you dress the bear. And they come in all cute little outfits and then on Christmas day you get a special bear. So I love that and I loved doing that last year and it really, really made Christmas counting down fun. Chris count the countdown to Christmas fun. And then last but certainly not least, it is this Nutcracker Yankee Candle Advent Calendar. Now, um, I actually got this quite cheap. It was eight pound. Eight pound for a Yankee Candle Advent Candle. That isn't bad, considering the Yankee Candle jars themselves are like fifteen pounds. I know they're not like jars; they're only little candles, but it's a nutcracker, and so obviously I really, really loved it. And yeah, it smells really, really nice. Oh, it tells me, it tells me what I get on the back. I get three cinnamon delight scents, three stony cove scents, three fairy floss. <laughs> That sounds like my one. Three glistening Christmas, three cherry vanilla, three vanilla frosting, three white linen and lace, and then three candy cane forests. So I don't know which one we can smell now, but it smells really nice. And I can't wait to open them. I haven't actually opened those ones yet because um, we haven't got around to doing them, but I will do it soon anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, last year Lucas did a trivia for his like vlogmas thing. Oh god. From when he um, he had that advent calendar that had the, the questions in it. But they didn't do that this year, so we're having to do make do questions. So I'm going to give everybody an elf trivia question. So if you don't if you don't watch Elf the, elf the movie, then unfortunately you can't participate until you've watched it well you can guess i suppose so yeah what 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 did you do last year first person get the it first done. person to guess it right gets a shout out gets a shout out so the first person to guess it right gets a shout out so the answer will not be in until tomorrow's video so if you want to know the answer come back for that and yes yeah, so i'm just giving them a little shuffle now because they probably haven't been shuffled since like last year so let me just give them a quick little shuffle right so are you ready people for your first question i feel like a, a, a quiz master <clears throat> so we have an easy question and a hard question so do you want me to ask both and then the first two people who get who like get both of them or or like if, if one person gets the easy first and the other one gets the hard first you'll give both of them a shout out yeah so the easy question is what does buddy do with the perfume when handed what does buddy do with the perfume when handed it? okay got it when what does buddy do with the perfume when handed it in the department store so what does buddy do to the perfume or with the perfume when he's given it in the department store you can tell this was written by an american because <laughs> it's not the way that we'd say stuff okay the hard question is when buddy plans how he will spend the day with his father what is the last thing on the list and that is your questions, people. So get your comments in and the answers will be revealed tomorrow in tomorrow's video, along with your next question. So what, I'm leaving this one on the top just so that like, we know which one it is. I probably should have made a note of the things. Oh well, I can just find the card again. So yeah, that is your question. Get them in, first person to get either of them right. Wins a shout out from Features Gaming himself on Fetchy Plus. So the time is now about half four, I do believe, in the evening, and I'm pointing the camera obviously at me, not so you can necessarily see me, but to sort of demonstrate how early it gets dark. Because, like I said, I oh, I I think I woke up about half nine this morning, and I had my torch on me, to so you could see me. It's now half four, so about seven hours later and it's already getting dark like it's the darkness of like night time already and it's only half four so it's pretty crazy how dark it gets so what we have been doing so far is we played the game obviously as you saw and then lauren Dem uh, you know showed off her next uh, advent calendars that she forgot to do and then we had tea or we had lunch actually because we have our hot meal at uh, at lunchtime and i had um rice and some chicken dippers because 
that's just a mill I have. And then after that, I practice for another league race I have tonight, XRS this one, in a Williams, which should be uh, pretty interesting because I'm a reserve in Division 3 because I got moved down and there are no seats left in uh, Division 3. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I probably would have got signed. Not trying to sound cocky or anything, but I'm pretty sure I probably would have been signed. Um, so yeah, I did that. I did some more stuff on KRL with me being the McLaren team principal as well. I, I was talking to a few drivers that might have been interested to uh, to sign. And uh, yeah, that's been pretty much all I've been doing. What I'm going to do now is I am going to go ahead and watch my premiere of me completing Final Christmas Star Obby without zero deaths. That is going to be premiering in literally a few minutes, so I need to go ahead and do that. After that, I will probably just rest and just watch some other YouTubers uh, and or other YouTube videos, I mean, or maybe, you know, probably continue watching a bit of Young Sheldon because I'm uh, watching that on Netflix at the moment. And after that, I need to be downstairs by six because me and the rest of my family are going to watch Lauren's Panto that she made on Bloxburg. I featured in there. Obviously, I was the dame. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to that video if you want to go see that. You on Honestly, you should. It's, it's very, very funny. And I'm pretty sure you guys will love it. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to that. And um, also, I need to eat as well because my league race starts at seven. And uh, yeah, I need to be ready before then. So I'm going to go to watch my premiere and then do all of the other stuff I said. And then I'll catch you guys most likely after my league race tonight so the time now is about nine actually it's just gone 9 p.m so that was good timing and i have just finished up on my uh race my xrs race uh as i said i was reserving for williams so the race went pretty all right i came p5 in the sprint and i came p6 in the race i do believe um i span on i span in the race so i could have actually have got probably p3 or maybe even p4 or 5 i'm not too sure but i was definitely running p5 and then i span and unfortunately i dropped down a few positions so i managed though to uh keep up with my pace and uh yeah just kept going and going and i think i got some pretty good results for william so i'm very happy that i was able to uh put in a good stint for them while their main driver was away and again obviously thank you to the williams team principal for giving me uh, a chance in williams obviously i'm not signed with them or anything i just uh, reserved for them while their main driver was away what i'm going to be doing for the rest of the race is I am going to continue signing a few more drivers in KRL. I have actually got two more drivers that I do need to fill out a form for, and then I need to work out uh, their values and things like that, and put that on my um, and put that on my spreadsheet of the budget, so I know what I'm doing, and you know know how much you know budget we have left and stuff. So I need to go ahead and do that, but they aren't actually out yet, so I need to wait for the um, for the banker, basically as we call him, to um, to put those out, and then after that, I don't know really, just uh, maybe see if. I can edit this vlog because I need to get this uh, vlog edited and uh, maybe do some uh, other edits as well. I don't, I don't really know why. Um, probably edit Div 3 highlights for the XRS. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know what KRL has been doing as well with their streams and I need to go ahead and see if I can uh, get that sorted as well. But um, until then, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. So thank you all for watching this vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I hope you go on to enjoy Vlogmas. If you are and if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe as well for more content and more Vlogmas and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out.